when I wrote floorboards, the the day I wrote it, or the night that I wrote it, I was like, just, yeah, it was a crazy day. But I was like piecing together the drop mm -hmm. of that song. Like I wrote the song on the guitar and then I recorded it. And then I was like building out the drop at the end. And I hadn't listened to it all together. Like I was just, did like a little synth part, kick drum. And so finally I had done all the individual pieces and I like turned it up, just like rolled back and mm -hmm. closed my eyes. And I played it. And when the drop hit, I just started bawling. Bawling. And that's like never happened to me before. It was like this wave of just, I just felt so heavy. And but it felt like exactly what I was feeling is that it like felt like I like lost someone and like the weight of that. So that was the only time I've ever like cried to a song. Mm -hmm. It was mine. So that's also what I'm afraid of at this show. I'm literally gonna cry. And so <laughs> I like don't wanna do that on stage. It's so lame. When I play the songs you it like flashbacks. teleports me right mm. back to when I wrote it. And like when I hear floorboards, it brings me back to that night every time. And it just, uh, it like makes me feel better, <laughs> but also it like makes me so anxious. It like literally brings all that back into me. And then when I'm, even when I'm playing it on the guitar, like in my room. Yeah. It just uh. hits. And I, uh, it's a good thing, but. I don't, I don't really listen to my music anymore because of <laughs> that. I'm like in a better place. That's why I'm trying to get this freaking EP done because all of these songs are like from this time that I don't want to go back to. I have to honor the song. And so I'm like here sitting in all this sadness. Really, I'm trying to make bangers, like summertime, upbeat. Like, uh, you know, EDM.com, they like just repost, well, they reposted floorboards. He was like, dude, this song is sick. And they're like the biggest EDM account on Instagram. I made this song with Daniel Allen. I have lyrics, but it's such a it's like Is this song out or not? you feel like you're in like a Chinese restaurant or does it like sound cool? I switched laptops. Certain things I have to go back and re uh. remove. <laughs> this was when I tried to make it more of a hard G easy Sorry, getting up early. I go to the gym.
come back, shower, like a protein shake. I'll usually read, like go to a coffee shop or go to the beach, come back, just kind of work on some whatever it is, work on a song, work on producing. Sometimes I have like client meetings for my consulting stuff. And then I get frustrated, so I have to go out of the house, so like ride my little <laughs> bike down the beach, and I come back, work again for like a few hours. I'll go watch Sunset after that. And then usually I have like a show or I'm like hanging with someone. A lot of times recently I've been just staying in, like making a fire, reading in front of the fire. I've been trying to do more wholesome things. My goal is to be a child this year, to like embrace, mm -hmm. or like to get back all the things that I really enjoyed as a kid. Like I literally bought like a little e-bike just so I could cruise around having bonfires and like, like making a fire in my house. All the like little simple things that most people miss. I'm trying to like really lean into those. A lot of like joy from that. More wholesome. Like, I watch the sunset every day. Every day I look forward, like I'm literally about to make it in the kitchen. I look forward to make getting an apple and like cutting it up in tiny slices and eating it with my peanut butter. This bowl, I use this bowl every day. Mrs. Bowman gave it to me for my birthday, like last week. I started like fasting and like eating super healthy and like, working out the time. So I'm like, like I haven't had bread or grain, sugar, candy, sweets, like anything. That's why I look forward to literally like an apple and peanut butter every day. Because <laughs> that's like candy to me. Bring my own peanut butter. My one apple from Trader Joe's. Back to the studio. <laughs> my mom would be so proud. today and I'm quite excited um, look at it I guess you can't see I love when it rains and today we're just doing a little editing made a bunch of videos I'm gonna edit in the den here Anyway, sleeping. So in the first one, when I think you love me, did yeah. it really well. <clears throat> I was like stoked on it, right? Yeah. And I think when you have your first like hit, how do you? Can you repeat that? Dude, to get to another mill is no. That's like having two hits. It's a big deal, bro. So if we're tired of hearing the hit one million this morning, I'm like, okay. Yo. Maybe I'm doing something right, like the... You're in it, bro. I love it. I love it. I think it's kind of fun that I see both sides. Like, I have friends who have just popped off. I talk about this with my friend Rob all the time. Like, there's those people who, like, not have a hand to them, but, you know... They get a break. But I'm enjoying... I used to be like, man, I want to be, I want to be at millions of whatever right now. Right now. But now, I'm like, yo, this is kind of fun. You get to build, I Pretty get to like, amazing, bro, to see you build, build whatever I want. 
And I get yeah, to... Yeah, and guess what? And you're in control of it all. I get to be, like, intentional with every little thing that I do. I'm after excellence. Me too. Not okay. perfection. I'm pumped for you. A million streams. Congratulations. That's amazing. Just documenting all the the guitars that we have in this house right now. So many instruments. Hi puppy. Hi puppy. So many guitars. I honestly wonder how many guitars we have. I think we have 87. 85. Yeah, I don't know. It's quite a lot. Doing a little riding camp in Fallbrook. Uh, like a compound. I feel like I'm in Cabo or something. Bro's listening to his final mix in here. So pretty out here. Juju, Juju, come here. This is kind of where we've been doing our writing retreat. Yeah, it's been pretty sick. I haven't done that before. <laughs> Can you play them? E. Yeah. Sick. Wait, that sounds so pretty though, that combo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Noah Henderson. Who thinks the guitar is a DJ France. Alien combo. <laughs> <Four boards. laughs> Four boards, but in space. Space boards. This would actually be cool without Alien. That, that A minor, just the, the, the B minor just hits so hard the second time. I'll never forget you. I can't stay. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Who are in the chorus ones? Yeah. Love me, forget you. Do you like that, like, walk down? Probably not. I like <laughs> I, the reason why I like that melody so much and the love me less and ever forget you. It's like just so simple. Yeah. Like follows it. What's it? Four boards. Take seven.
the price of a promise and I don't think I'm ready for you to forget me love me less so never forget you I can't stand to see you with someone Last note I hit wrong. <laughs> nah, that was, that was good though. <laughs> Overall, great take.